successful test, I would say. Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. What's in my hand? It's a drone. What kind of drone? An awesome one. And you're about to find out why. And so am I. Because, check out these motors. They're angled, right? Most of them are straight, like vertical, okay? But these ones are angled. And by the way, that's a super old idea. That's not a new idea. But what we're testing out today is my brand new system to allow me to change the direction that the motors are angled without having to do a bunch of weird stuff and actually change like the direction that wires are coming from on the motor and stuff like that. So today we're basically gonna be testing to see if this system actually works and holds together and holds up in flight. And we'll kind of see how it feels when we have these motors all angled in this case, they're all in this kind of inward angle. I thought that would be interesting to try out. They're all basically angled back in towards the center of the drone body. So we're going to see how this works, if it works, and uh, all that stuff. But the important thing is, what do you think will happen? Leave a comment right now down below. Do you think that these plastic mounts are going to hold up to this thing? This is a seven inch drone, by the way. It's gigantic. Or do you think it's just going to explode? Oh, and I just remembered, this video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay, if you don't know about them, you need to know about them. They make PCBs, obviously, which are printed circuit boards, but uh, they also offer rapid prototyping services, which are how I had these pieces made for me. These are 3D printed. Um, this top piece mm -hmm. is clear and it's Ooh. super cool, and it's 3D printed uh, using Look resin, uh, UTR8100. And uh, that's definitely, Ooh. I would definitely recommend them uh, if you need some prototyped parts. I've really enjoyed the parts that I've gotten from them. Really, the whole ordering process is pretty super simple. You go into the rapid prototyping section, you select uh, what you need, so maybe CNC machining, 3D printing, like in this case, injection molding, uh, or even, you know, sheet metal uh, bending and, and molding. And then you just upload your file and it makes sure it's the right file type. STL will be just fine for 3D printing. And then you just go through and you choose your quantity, you choose what kind of uh, material you want to use and kind of the method that you want uh, done. You can even change uh, the color, uh, whether it's dyed or painted, stuff like that. And then if you have other specific requirements, maybe you have like markings that you need on the part or or uh, holes that need to be threaded or something like that, you can do that uh, further down in the options. Submit that and then they'll get back to you with uh, a final price once they review the order and make sure that they can actually um, you know, produce that order for you. If that sounds interesting to you, check out PCBWay.com. They take care of me and uh, make it so that I can keep bringing you videos and stuff. So uh, show them some love. Let them know that RC with Adam sent you. Link in the description down below. All right, now we need to strap everything on, plug it in, make sure everything works. We got our Insta360 camera on here so we can look at the propellers and see what they're doing. Probably spinning is my guess, but you never know. So we got a battery on here. This is a 6S 1850 milliamp hour. I think it's a high voltage battery. We got my transmitter. That's how I'm gonna actually control the drone. And we have our kind of old school Fat Shark Scout goggles. I have this new antenna from Gep RC. Thanks, Gep RC. I'm gonna be trying that out. <laughs> Backwards mode, activated. Goggles on. Transmitter on. Drone, plugging in. And we'll give it a little test hover. Remember, always line of sight test first to make sure everything is working okay. All right, let's see what's gonna happen. Whoa, it's working. That's actually, that's pretty normal. It's in auto level mode right now. Nice, okay. All right, so that's pretty good. And here we are the next day. We're doing a little model rocket launch, so I thought I'd chase the rocket. You can see we blast off here pretty nicely. Uh, not quite fast enough to catch the rocket. Um, and I kind of kind of lost it. Uh, it's a little hard to see that little thing. But uh, take note on the top left, we have the FPV feed. That's what I actually see uh, through the little camera there. Uh, and then the big screen here, we've got the 360 camera. As you can see, it's spinning around. So right here, I'm just kind of doing some tests, uh, to kind of to get a feel for it, uh, and also kind of see what the amp draw is. That number uh, on the OSD screen, on the small screen, that number right there uh, with the little A after the numbers, that's the amp draw, or at least approximately the amp draw. And so you can see uh, when I'm when I'm just kind of hovering or uh, at not quite idle, but when I'm hovering or at cruising, it's right around four amps. Uh, at idle, it's right around two amps ish. Um, and so right now, I'm just kind of uh, testing it, uh, out how it feels. 
right here I'm gonna uh, test the prop wash and the prop wash is basically the disturbed air from the drone uh, that it creates um, you know as it blasts the air through the propellers and so when you fly into that air it can be very rough and cause a lot of vibration and oscillation so I'm just kind of testing out to see how that feels in this configuration I'm also going to do a few snappy kind of moves here. I'm going to uh, test the yaw. You can see I'm uh, using the left stick there. Uh, you can kind of see that the little uh, stick uh, gimbal reticle overlay on the OSD screen. And just trying to see if that, uh, just kind of how it feels. We did another rocket launch, so we're going to do that one as well. And you could see there uh, when I was at idle, the amp draw was quite low. And when we punch out or when we hit the throttle all of a sudden you can see the voltage goes way down that's called voltage sag and we'll get that low battery warning for just a little bit that uh that parachute didn't deploy quite right so it came down pretty quickly and at this point we're going to do just some more freestyle stuff i'm going to keep the osd screen uh in the top left there just so we can uh kind of have a look at it for the reference. Uh, maybe we can read those numbers. Hopefully they're not too small. Overall, the handling is really pretty good. Uh, you know you probably wouldn't know that the that the motors are at that angle they're all you know all tilted inward about 15 degrees it certainly does not have the nicest tune or is not the nicest flying quad but uh it's pretty good pretty good i felt like it was pretty pretty responsive you can see we're skimming those treetops just kind of having a little bit of fun with it. I think that antenna that I'm using uh, from GEPRC, that, that double, kind of double antenna on my goggles there, I think it's working pretty well. Uh, it's getting pretty good reception most of the time, except for when I dipped behind some heavy trees. Yeah, that was a good flight. Let's uh, take a look and make sure everything's still intact. And just for reference, there's the ending numbers. Well, there you have it, folks. It absolutely will rip. These mounts are still solid. Uh-oh, wait, where did that screw go? Uh, don't even worry about it, but we did lose a screw. We absolutely did lose one. So you want to make sure after you fly and you get some, you know, vibration going on, you want to make sure and check on those screws and uh, make sure they're tight and everything. But we didn't lose any motors. Uh, it absolutely works. And this configuration right here with it being all the motors tilted inward, it's a little bit wonky, but it still absolutely flies and it still rips around pretty good. More testing is needed and uh, will be coming to you in video format in the future uh, so we can kind of get a better idea of, I don't know, if this is worthwhile or not or something. And also you test it out. If you are testing this out, let me know, leave a comment down below. Well, that was fun. We'll be back with some more of these fun projects like this and kind of testing out some just wonky things cause that's always fun to do. So be safe out there, go fly something, go build something, go 3D print something. And I will see you again very soon.